Hi, I'm Sarah. Welcome to The Daily English Show. Today we're studying a scene from a movie called Nightcrawler. I saw this in January at the Academy here in Auckland. By the way, if you're ever in Auckland on a Wednesday night, tickets are only five bucks at the Academy on Wednesdays, which is a very good price. I loved Nightcrawler. It was the best movie I've seen in ages. I thought Jake Gyllenhaal was brilliant. He played the creepy character really well. The movie's about a guy called Lou who sells footage of accidents and crime to a TV news station. He seems to be a sociopath or maybe a psychopath. I'm a little confused about those two terms. Anyway, he's very creepy. He lacks remorse and empathy and he manipulates people to get what he wants. One way the creepiness of his character is conveyed is through the use of his oddly formal language. The conversation we're studying is between Lou and a guy called Joe, who's a rival camera person. And Joe suggests that they work together. He says, I'm talking about putting some heavy digits in our pocket, brah, which is an informal way of saying, we're going to make a lot of money. Bra is a variation of bro. And Lou replies, Thank you for offering me the position, but working for myself is more in line with my skills and career goals. It's a little strange to reply to such informal language with more formal language like this. And this contrast of the level of language formality or register, along with his delivery, and what the audience knows about his skills and career goals makes this line beautifully creepy. Kia ora in stick news today, the Drug Enforcement Administration in the United States say they are worried about stoned rabbits. In the United States, depending on the state, cannabis is either legal illegal or kind of legal. The Washington Post reported that the state of Utah is considering a bill that would allow patients with certain debilitating conditions to be treated with edible forms of marijuana. However, not everyone is enthusiastic about the proposed law. A DEA agent who is a member of the marijuana eradication team in Utah said that he was worried about the environmental costs associated with large-scale weed cultivation. He said that at some illegal marijuana grow sites, he saw rabbits that had cultivated a taste for marijuana. He's quoted as saying, One of them refused to leave us, and we took all the marijuana around him, but his natural instincts to run were somehow gone. And that was Stick News for Tuesday the 10th of March. Kia ora. Today's word is tag team. Tag team has a few meanings. If you search tag team on Google Images, you'll probably see lots of pictures of wrestling. Because a tag team is a pair of wrestlers who fight as a team, taking the ring alternately. One fights, comes out, the next one goes in and fights. Tag team has another meaning. According to the Concise Oxford, informal, chiefly North American, a pair of people working together. And that's what Joe means in the conversation we're studying. He's proposing to Lou that they work together so that when they get a call about an accident or a crime, they send out two teams of camera crews. He says... You want to be on the inside of this, man, because I'm going to be tag-teaming every call. It could be worth knowing that tag-team also has a sexual meaning. The top definition on Urban Dictionary is for a few guys, usually friends, to take turns having sex with a particular girl in one sexual session. You may not ever need to use that term, but it's useful to know that there could potentially be a misunderstanding if you say, Let's tag team. So if you want to be on the safe side, just stick with let's work together. I'm talking about putting some heavy digits in our pocket, bruh. Take a few days to think about it. You want to be on the inside of this man because I'm going to be tag teaming every call.
You don't even understand the offer. Thank you for offering me the position, but working for myself is more in line with my skills and career goals. No, you'll need to hire someone else and I don't want to hold up the process. You keep talking like it's something that I may be interested in, but I'm not. I'm talking about putting some heavy digits in our pocket, brah, means A, we're going to make a lot of money, B, we'll have to carry some heavy equipment, we're going to make a lot of money. Bra means A, bra, B, bro, bro. Tag team means A, work together, B, join a sports team, work together. Lou is a A, sociologist, B, sociopath, sociopath. DEA stands for A, Drug Eradication Administration, B, Drug Enforcement Administration. Drug Enforcement Administration. And that was The Daily English Show. If you'd like to support the show, please share this video on Facebook or Twitter or wherever you like to hang out on the internet. We'd really appreciate all the help we can get to spread the word that we are back making the show again. See you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>